we're back at it again here on the trusty couch where we take all our lessons here at Amateur Hour Guitar Lessons. And uh, we're going to do a little Tom Petty for you to kick things off. So, uh, this is You Don't Know How It Feels by Tom Petty. It's pretty simple to play. There's only uh, five chords. There's really only four chords and a uh, variation of one of those chords. So you're going to have an E major. Uh, so you're going to take your pointer finger, put it on the third fret of the G string. Your middle finger goes on the second fret of the A string. Your ring finger goes on the second fret of the D string. And the rest of the strings are played open. So you got... That's what that sounds like, okay? And then you're going to come into this A chord. And that A chord is just going to be... Uh, I use my thumb to kind of wrap around and, and mute the big E string. So I'm not getting sound out of it. And then you're going to leave your A string open. And then your uh, middle finger is going to come to the second fret of the D string. Your ring finger goes to the second fret of the G string. Your pointer finger goes to the second fret of the B string. And then your E string, your little E string is open. So you're really kind of cramming all your fingers in here. And some people will play it with this fingering. Uh, but I really like to do it this way because it's just easier to fit all your fingers in there when you're using your pinky. Because your pinky's a little smaller, you know. So that chord sounds like this. Alright. So the main gist of this song you're going to be switching back and forth between your E major and your A major. So you're going to use some palm muting as well, and you're just going to take this part of your palm back here, the kind of fat part of the side of your hand, and you're going to lay it on top of the strings where they come over your bridge. And so you'll play a couple of times with the palm mute, and then you'll play open without it. Alright, so... Okay. That's, your, that's the strumming on your E chord there. And then you come to this A chord and do the same thing. And now what I like to do on this A chord right there at the end is pull my pinky off. And if you, if you pull it down, you can get away with kind of hitting the little E string under it when you kind of pick that B string with your pinky. And it kind of gives it a cool little ring so it sounds like this. Okay. And that's all I'm really doing there for uh, for the whole verse. And I think that's pretty much what Tom Petty does. He may or may not do that pull off that I'm doing. He may just play it straight through. But I feel like it gives it a little more character with the pull off. All right, so there's your verse. So now we're gonna move into the pre-chorus and uh, it starts off on the E chord and you're not really going to mute anything here, you're not going to palm mute anything, you're going to play all these chords open uh, without palm mute. So you're going to hit your E chord, hit it a couple of times and then a couple of quick times if that makes sense, you'll hit, okay, and then you'll come to this B chord. Now what you're going to do here, you're going to bar five strings. You're going to bar everything except the big E string on the second fret. And then, this is kind of tricky right here. I know this throws people off sometimes. You're going to also bar your D string, your G string, and your B string with your ring finger. And you won't hit your, your uh, E string, your big E string. So what I like to do is use the top of my pointer finger to just touch that E string while I'm barring all of those. So I get, that's what it sounds like. So I can. That's kind of a tricky chord to play, I know. 
um, but it's the way she goes. So anyway, pre-chorus, here we go. We got E to that B major, and then back to your E major, and then to your uh, A major, and then you do all that again. All you gotta do is your chorus, and that is E, D, and A. And so the only new chord we have now is this D chord. And all that is, you play open on the D string, play two with your, you push your pointer finger on the second fret on the uh, G string, your ring finger goes to the third fret of the B string, and then your middle finger goes to the second fret of the little E string. So you got those four strings there. I like to play that chord with an open A string as well. It makes it kind of gives it a little more of a resonance almost. And uh, so, all right, so your chorus, you're going E, D, A. And then I like to throw that pull in on there again, and that pull off in there again. While you're riding it out at some point, doesn't matter exactly when, but some point towards the end of riding out that A chord, I like to slide my pinky up to the third fret on that B string and kind of give it a little like, a little, oh, what would you say? A little uneasiness to let you know that it's getting ready to change. That's it. So let's run through all of it one time. <clears throat> and uh, stick around because we got one more cool little part. So uh, so we got, all right, here's your verse. Let me run with you tonight and i take you on the moonlight ride. All right, so you got all that. And you're going to go into the pre-chorus. Let me get to the point. Let's roll another joint. Let's head on down the road. There's some way here I want to go. Chorus, you don't know how it feels. You don't know how it feels. I said, you don't know how it feels. To be That's pretty much the whole song. So you'll play the first verse and then that first chorus and then you'll play your second verse into your second chorus and then coming out of that second chorus there is another little uh, guitar lick in there, kind of a lead lick and all you got to do here uh, is you'll hit open and then three four on the big E string and then two on the A string and then you come up to the fifth on the A string and then down to the four on the A string so that's gonna sound like and then you'll play that whole pattern again and then with an open A string at the end of it so That's, uh, that's it. That's all she wrote. Now you know how to play You Don't Know How It Feels by Tom Petty. And life's good, man. So uh, anyway, 
Let me know what you thought. If you liked the video, if I was too quick on certain parts, if I didn't explain enough, if I explained too much, if I was going too slow. Um, what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could have done better, what I did good. And uh, if you if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see me grow, I'm trying to grow this channel. So uh, stick around and hit that subscribe button. And honestly, it's it's awesome if you subscribe, and it's awesome if you leave me comments and let me kind of interact with you. Because if I can figure out what you guys are looking for, then I can make better videos in the future. Obviously. And that's what I'm trying to do, man. I wanna, I wanna try to make this a good channel where people can come to learn how to play music. I'm running off just a, you know, some basic equipment right now. But as time goes on, we're gonna, we're gonna get some better equipment, some better cameras, some better sound equipment, and all that kind of stuff. Right now, all of my money has gone into live performance. Uh, so that scenario but before too long we're gonna we're gonna start making some pretty good quality videos here and uh so let me know what you guys want to see what other lessons you want to you want to see what songs you might want to learn and uh see you next time thanks for stopping by